This is Felix Martin, and you're geeking out with Gear Guts. Hey guys, um, this is Felix Martin, and I'm gonna show you my collection of guitars. So yeah, um, so this one is like uh, my standard guitar because it's like you know like the lightest, most comfortable guitar I have, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty uh, thin. And then it's got um, a 14 strings, two seven string guitars in one. So it's like, you know, like the the easiest to play or like, you know, the one like I consider the standard guitar. And uh, the scale length is like uh, 25 and a half. So it's like a Stratocaster, I think. And then like uh, I'm using Seymour Duncan pickups. I think they're called like uh, full shred pickups. These are the full shred ones. And then like um, the tuners are like really small, like as you can see here, like maybe uh, they're like uh, the smallest you can get. This whole concept is really simple. It's just two guitars with the same sound in on a regular guitar, on a regular guitar body maybe. This one uh, was made by JP LaPlante. Um, he's, uh, he's like the one who helped me with like most of my guitars and like to develop this um, whole, you know, like 14 string, 16 string in one neck. So that's like kind of, it was like a real, uh, like a challenge to like do the whole, like, you know, the concept, all the measurements, like, but he's the one who helped me the most, JP Laplan, he's a luthier in Canada. I think he retired, but like, yeah, he's like my second dad. All right, so this one um, is like my main jazz guitar. It was made by uh, JP Laplan as well. It's inspired on a Gibson uh, ES-175 uh, um, and a Gibson L5. So as you can see, it's like, you know, like Pat Metheny guitar. So it's like the whole big jazz box. It's pretty fragile. You can like, you know, like you gotta take care of it. And uh, the thing I like the most about this guitar is that the eighth string here. I just like the tension because it's like the the scale length is pretty short too. It's twenty five and a half, and I'm using an eighth string on a twenty five and a half scale length, so that's like sh really short for an eighth string. And then like all the resonance you get from a, a jazz guitar with the tap in and the eighth string is pretty cool too. So this one is like the most special guitar I have because it sounds really different and it's really like it's crazy. Like it was really hard to make. Like. From all my guitars, this one is the hardest one to make. Like, cause you know, it's a whole, all like jazz guitars and hollow body guitars, they're really hard to make, but, but this one is a 14 string. So <laughs> like, as you can see, like we had to make this, uh, the bridge, like, uh, like custom made, like we had, it's all handmade, you know, like, so it was a lot of work. And then all the tension you get, like from the 14 string, all the tension is here. And then we got a kind of a hollow center block here. Yeah, dude, like I really love this guitar. It's really, really special. This one is my second jazz guitar, I guess. Um, so it's more like a 335, a Gibson 335. You know, it's like for jazz and rock because it's a, uh, it's hollow body, but not completely hollow body. You got like a center block here. This one, um, you kind of like avoid feedback because it's, you know, you got the center block here. With the other jazz guitar, you get all the feedback sometimes. So yeah, there's that problem. And the string setups here is uh, eight string and six string. And the scale length is 25, 26 and a half. So this one is actually my, my favorite scale length, 26 and a half, because um, it's not too short and it's not too long, you know? So you get like a really cool tension on the eight string. Why I like this guitar the most is the, the, the low string. Like you can't hear it right now because I'm not plugged in, but like all the, the percussion here, on the eight string sounds really good because you get all the, the resonance from here. And then the scaling is really nice for, uh, you know, to play like percussion on the lower string. So this sounds like really punchy. This one was made by um, Jim Jim Ellsbury here in uh, Huntington Beach. Yeah, we spent like, dude, like three years making this guitar because, um, you know, we took breaks and all the design, we actually draw the whole thing like carefully, like. Not the other guitars, like like for example, like my first guitar, like like the other one, the first one I show, it took us like like two months maybe, but like this one took us a long time, and it's pretty light too because it's hollow body. So this is another guitar I have. It's a fourteen string, two seven strings together, and uh, scale length is like twenty five and a half too. Seymour Duncan's, I think they're the jazz uh, 
pickups. I don't remember. Pretty sure they are jazz pickups. And then like uh, I have a PS on this guitar too, uh, right here, so you can control them here to get like acoustic sound. I don't use it that too much, but like I still I still have it. But this guitar is meant more like to play like standing up, you know, like not sitting down too much. And then uh, it was made by by Bob Mason, um, a luthier in Florida. And then I broke this on a on a tour, like and then I, I this one are from an Ibanez guitar of mine, like a regular RG Ibanez. All right, so this one uh, it's an R guitar um, made by J P Laplan, a luthier in Canada. Um, we just wanted to, uh, you know, like make a nine string and see how it feels. So uh, we're using a seven. Uh, 27 scale length, which is like sh a little short for a nine string. So I end up using like a really thick string for the nine string. This one is like 125 or 130. So this is like the lowest string on the bass. And uh, cause you know, like I need a lot of tension for the tapping. It was a cool experiment. Like I'm, I'm playing this one in a lot of videos and I always write with this one. For me, this one is a specialized guitar, and uh, we're using here uh, AMG pickups. The I think they're called like the X nine one nine X. And I also wanted to try it out, like like active pickups on this one to see how it sounds. And uh, and I like them; they sound really good. It's a monster, and it's huge too. We're using the hip shot tuners. So this one is my um, my Scarvenson guitar. Like this is uh, the newest one. Uh, it's two eight-string guitars in one headless fan frets. We're using a, a scale length is um, twenty-five and a half and twenty-seven because I didn't want. Actually, uh, I was afraid to like r make it like really fan because um because I wasn't used to it. So um, we didn't like subtle. We did like subtle fan frets, like not too much. We're using Seymour Duncan's. I think this one is the the Nasco pickups, and then the Super Distortion pickups. But the thing is, these are uh, pickups for distortion, but I don't play distortion with this guitar. For some reason, I never play distortion with this guitar. I just like how they sound on a clean tone. They sound like, like you know, like really clean. So, um, and all the percussion, they sound like really good with these pickups. I, I always use like this groove gear thing to mute the strings as well as the the, the Velcro things I always use. I don't, I don't know how many pieces I have on this neck. I think it's a 15 piece neck, maybe 16 piece neck. I gotta count them, I don't know. This is like my main guitar right now because it's like the lightest one and I really like the string setup, which is uh, two eight string guitars. I really feel comfortable with this one. I have a new album coming out, it's called Mechanical Nations. I'm using four of these guitars. Yeah, you should check it out. It's in the stores right now, iTunes and, and my website and all that, so check it out. Mm -hmm.